hola público televidente del show de Fernandito, con ustedes Clara Angelina Díaz y estamos aquí con Fernando Bosa y Sue, que es la promotora del grupo que vamos a entrevistar hoy. Estamos aquí en el Oriental Cuba, el bello restaurante cubano, aquí en Jamaica Plain en Boston. So, Robert, tell me about your dance experience and about your wonderful team, Yamule. Please, tell us all about it. I didn't know how to dance at all. I was 14 years old. Now I'm 18. Yes, okay. yes, 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 yes. So you're legal? Yes. Okay. For you, only. This is what I have to deal with here, but it comes with a job. We're still here backstage at the Salsa Congress 2010 with Caribbean Soul. Well, what, baby? ¿Qué vamos a esperar de Caribbean Soy? Craziness, a little bit of hip hop, a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. Welcome back, and here we are with comedian Dave Radigan. Sí, bueno, bienvenidos otra vez. Y estamos aquí con el comediante Dave Radigan. How are you today, Dave? I'm, I'm well, thank you. El viernes, el 12 de marzo, el show de Fernandito Reportero de Artes, Clara Angelina Díaz, participó con una rueda de prensa para el CD de Liana Veda. Con todo el talento que tienen, el, el baile, el canto, ¿en cuál te, tú piensas tú que eres más fuerte? Singing was something new. It was a new venture for me. They're talking about, you know, how they knew that they could work together with because they felt chemistry. And they knew that, you know, through their conversations, they knew that they could work together. And everyone tells them when they hear their mm -hmm. voice mm -hmm. together that it sounds really nice. So we're having such a wonderful time here. I mean, there's a little bit of everything here in the Salsa Congress, including a massage, people. I'm going to get a massage. <laughs> So somebody saw me and they said, you want to come do my show? And somebody else saw me and said, you want to come do my show? And 15 years later, here I am. That's amazing. Le acabamos de preguntar a Dave que cómo, cómo entró él a ser, eh, bueno, primero que todo, él es escritor y también es comediante. Entonces, eh, Leonard le pregunta que cómo él entró a ser comediante. Y él dijo que primero que todo se divorció, así que tuvo un poquito más de tiempo. Y cuando tomó una clase... Eh, le dieron su talento la primera vez que lo hizo y le pidieron que siguiera y siguiera haciendo comedia. We are here with Arju, a local shoe designer, instructor. Tell us a little bit about what you have here with us today, your shoes and also your dancers. Sorry, have you ever tried stand up? Well, people tell me I'm very funny. Yeah. I don't try to be funny. So okay. I think if I try, I might be okay. I think you'd be great at it. You think so? I think you should do stand-up next show. What do you think? <laughs> that, that would be fun to watch. Well, maybe you can write my lines for me. I will. We, I could work with you. I could okay, work well, with you. I could, thank I could you. punch up your lines, and, and we'll stand you up here. We'll see how you do. You know what? I, I noticed that when, when you do stand-up comedy, it's so natural. It's like you well, never even practice it, do you? I practice it all the time. Él, él no explica que vamos a tra para traducir en español, que yo le digo que él se ve tan, tan natural eh, cuando él hace su comedia que no parece ni que practica ni, 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 que, ni siquiera que escribió las líneas. Y él me dice que el truco de verse tan natural es constantemente practicar. Constantemente eh, practicar para verse natural en el, cuando, cuando está haciendo la comedia, ¿no? Usted está escuchando la música de Thais Alvarenga, una graduanda de la Escuela de Música de Berkeley. Vamos a estar hablando con ella acerca de su música y su trabajo, así que quédense con nosotros. César, le llamamos Pupi. Él eh, nos va a estar hablando acerca de su grupo, lo del Son Son. 